Hi, in this video, we are going to be learning how to use our lighting effect to add light to our images in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. I like my name. My name is your first time on this channel. Please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. This is the first model we are going to be using for this illustration. But before we start, we have to create a copy by using our Ctrl J to create extra one more copy. So as you see the before and after, I have to select the first one, go to filter, render, down to lighting effects. So this is the lighting effects panel. If you click on this drop down, you notice you have point, spot, and infinite. We are going to be trying all these effects one after the other on each of these images. So we are going to be using points now for this particular image. Then if you take this light around this image now, you can, you can decide simply place it anywhere on your image depending on the kind of light effect you want on the image. So if you turn it around, you can choose wherever you want to place it on your image. You have to take your time and understand how it's going to help your image. If we decide to leave it on the face of this model now, how is it going to help the image? I know you'll be thinking something that the image is washed out, then we have to reduce the intensity of the light. This is intensity adjustment, this slider. You can move it up, you can bring it down. I think the intensity on the face is, I think is good enough like this. Then we have colorize. If you want the light to be colored, you can equally play, click here and choose any color of your choice. It's going to be showing you a kind of light the color of the light but we don't want it on color we want it natural light we go back to our white and hit ok then with this you can adjust the exposure exposure of that particular spot if you want it dim you can it's all left for you if you want it dim it's all left for you then if you want it more exposed you can do that. It's close to the intensity, but there's difference between the intensity of light and the brightness or exposure of the image. So we have to let's zoom in and see if it is okay. I believe it's I believe it's almost okay. If not okay, then we can just take it up a bit and leave it here. Then you can see gloss here. Gloss. If you bring it down. You notice that the stuff we the image the light area will become a kind of a little bit dull like lacking little contrast but if you take it up it's going to be shiny which is a kind of glossy then metallic is almost the same thing but the more you take it to the negative side of the metallic it's going to be softer compared to what we have at the gloss there so if you leave it here, you can see that there's no contrast at all. Then with this, with the metallic taken to like 100%, I think, I, I believe it's okay like this based on what we actually want on our image. Then the next one is the ambience. The ambience, you can adjust the ambience down. That is going to take you away from the other part of the image. Then, and focus on that spot that you are you are targeting then if you the more you bring it down the more it goes away from the other part of the image like as you can see this image is looking interesting like this already so if we decide to leave it this way with the ambience at minus 20 i think it's going to be fine we can go further to increase the exposure and the intensity of the lights So with this light light, you can see go and bring down the ambience. Then we increase intensity a bit. There's still a shortcut. There's still a shortcut for us to increase the the intensity of the light. We can go here and start dragging here. You can drag it down. You can drag it back. You can adjust it here also. 
So let's just assume that this image is done like this. I think it's okay like this. We can give it a try like this. Let's just go in there and see how the brightness affects the image. Okay, let's just hit okay. Let's hit okay here to see how it's going to look. So this is it. This is what we had. Then let's see the before and after. We can hold down our alt and click on this box to see the before and this is after. This is before, this is after. I believe that is still amazing. Let's disable this layer now and go to the original image and use our Ctrl J to duplicate again. For this time around, I'm going to select this background copy and go to filter, render, lighting effect. But this time around, we are not going to be using this point light. We are going to be taking it to spot light. Then for this now, we have to rotate this stuff to the area we want the light to be coming from. So this spotlight is a kind of light directed from an area that is going to be focusing on the image direct. We are going to increase the hot spots. The smaller circle inside is the hot spot area. So we have to go to the hot spot and increase the hot spot. Then we are going to increase the intensity of the light. We are going to increase the intensity of the light. So as you can see, it's already falling on the image. Then let's take it to an extent like this. We can also drag to expand the light. We can also drag to expand it to increase the length. We can drag by the side to widen the light effect. With this light like this now, it's practically showing that the light is coming from this, this area down to the image. So as you can see, you can notice that this area is more exposed compared to this area. Then what we are going to be doing now is for us to balance the exposure and the intensity of the light to suit the image. Then the intensity should be reduced so as to remove all those burnt area, all those, all those highlights that is washed out. You can take it to, I believe like, like this is okay. Then talking about the other part of the image, it, we have to expose the other part of the image a little by using the ambience. We can increase the ambience to, to, to cover more part of the image. Let's take 66 for the ambience so as to see the other part of the image. But it seems we are supposed to adjust this ambience before going to the intensity. So we have to bring the intensity of the light down so as not to wash out the image. So we have to adjust accordingly, like, I think like this is okay. Then let's just say we are done with this image. Let's hit okay. Like you can equally do something with all this metallic and uh, gloss to, to make it softer. But I don't want it to be soft here. You can, when you are doing yours, you can try any other thing. But for this image, I don't want it to be that soft. 100% gloss and 100% metallic. Then 66 at the amb ambient. Then for the for the intensity 27. Let's hit OK. So we are having two different kind of image now. Both of these image are the same, but the lighting has changed the message that is passing across. Let's see this one. You see what we have here is beautiful and. Let's go away from here and you see this other one is also amazing. For the first one, this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. And for the second one, this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. I think both of them are okay. Both of them are unique in their own ways. Or you can drop a comment below telling me which of these two you prefer. We can now move to another image which is this one we are just going to place lighting on this image and see how it's going to look as you can see the image and the background is bright the image is fine like this there's no doubt but let's just see what the lighting can do to this image let's go to filter render then lighting effect we are going to be using these spots we have to rotate it and reduce the size we can still pull it close a little then reposition at least let's start from the top. 
the position is okay like this then we just go to our setting and balance our settings the ambience should be a little bit down the ambience should be a little bit down then we we'll go to the we we'll go to the intensity of the light then we we'll go to the intensity of the light and bring it down to make the face okay then this hot spot this hot spot you can also reduce it but we want the light to expand to at least the new like i believe it's okay like this then let's increase the intensity a bit but the more we increase the intensity the more we see that the highlight is going to be blown out let's see how it is like this then i think let's do it softer let's add a little i think it let's take it to nine and see how it looks on nine let's see ten so let's zoom in and see how it's looking around the face area let's take it up and see if we i think 10 is okay for the intensity let's make it 11 and see 11 is becoming too too exposed let's make it 10 and hit okay so we'll have it like this then the next thing we we'll have to look into because we are going to be leaving the gloss at 100 and the metallic at 100 then we are not going to change it to any other color because it's going to change the color of the image which we don't want you can also add texture if you want you can play with your sliders and play with your stuff when you are trying to do something but for time time is not going to permit us to do it now we we'll have to turn the ambience up a bit to spread to spread the light to the background a bit then at least 50 54 should be okay then i think we are done with this image let's just hit okay and see how this image is going to be looking wow wow this is beautiful it's beautiful it's stylish it has added uniqueness to this image this is before this is after this is before this is after it's amazing already just see how the image has been transformed so what do you think about this image leave it in the comment section let's go to the next image and see how this thing is going to affect this stuff let's use our ctrl j to duplicate let's go to filter for this then render lighting effect then you can increase the intensity of the lights like so let's just leave it this way for reference purpose let then we can take it to this direction and we can rotate it the reason why i always rotate to this direction is that i i i, I notice that the i notice that like my light source is coming from the left area so that is why i'm using this area but in case you know that your light is coming from this other direction you can also take it to that area you can take it to this area if you wish you can rotate to this area if you know your light is coming from this other direction so for now my light is coming from this direction so i'm going to take it this way then i'm going to spread it all the way down then move it down then i can increase by dragging increasing the width here i think it's okay this way then i have to increase the intensity of the lights a bit let's zoom in and see it's not too bad like this but it's like it's getting too hot i think it's okay like this you can increase the value of the ambience to to give light to those areas that are too dark i think like this we are leaving the ambience at 81 then we can go to the intensity and bring the intensity down a bit at least the intensity the, the intensity at 25 is okay let's hit okay let's see the before and after i hold down my alt and click on this to see the before this is after this is before this is after let's select the main image and use our ctrl j to duplicate then we'll disable this we'll select the copy of the background layer then go to filter render 
lighting effect. But this time around, we are not going to be using we are not going to be using spotlight or point light. We are going to be using infinite lighting. So with this infinite lighting, you can just turn to see the direction you want the light to be more on. You can turn this handle to any direction. Let's say if you want to take it as if the light is coming from the from the left from the left top, you can put it this way. So this is this is a sign, this is a light bulb here, which is shining upon the image, which is dropping upon the image. Let's take it this way, like it's coming from the left top. Then I think it's okay. Like then we can go in there and reduce, we can in reduce the intensity of the lights like this. So I believe it's okay like this. Go to your exposure. You can see increase or reduce your exposure. I think it need to be increased a little. Like 90 is okay. 93 is okay. 93 is okay for this image. Then I think the intensity assist is okay. Then let's just hit okay and see how it looks on this image. But initially I thought my light was okay for this image. But with this now, if you check the before and after, this is before. This is after. This is before. This is after. The effect is great and it's worth using. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area it would have helped. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people, keep on creating. Please stay creative. Bye for now. See you in the next one. Bye.